Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Let's Make an Open World RPG And in this episode, we're, it's just gonna be another mapping episode which is kinda not important so it's skippable But what isn't skippable is this part that I'm about to talk right now Well, it is skippable But, um, so I've been working on the storyline and this is what I've come up with so far Well, um, how it's gonna um, work so basically, after you reach the lab, the guy's gonna explain to you um, that the five dimensional gateway parts are like scattered all over the city, and you have to find them. And what I'm trying to do is make three of those dimensional gateways. F um, you can find them in any place in the city, and they're not there. Um, so they're always gonna be in, in random um, locations, and that which means when you play the game the first time, you might not find it the same place that you find it the uh, Second time that you're going to be playing. Um, so basically what I'm going to be doing with those three is maybe make it so that You can win it from the casino. Maybe sometimes a block market sells it Maybe it drops from animals that you kill in the woods. Maybe um, a Side quest gives it to you or maybe you just um, found it in a secret location and then like that so it's gonna be in random places and it's gonna be found in random ways and um the um the other one the fourth one is only going to be found in one of the three gangs um hideouts and when you for the fourth one you get two options of obtaining it each of the gang has one i mean each of the three gangs there's a chance that um one of them have them so it's at random again so maybe the hold on give me a second oh here it is ideas okay um the three gangs are the scarlet brawlers the black spiders and the red knights and so when you um the fourth one is at one of these gangs hideout so it could be in the fighting a uh, fighters gangs the thieves gang or the assassins gang hideout and how i'm handling this is make it two ways that you could obtain it one you could choose to join one of these gang and then rank up to the boss room and then become the boss and gain access to the boss's room and then you open up the chest that's in there and it might be there and it might not be and the other way that i'm doing it is also make it so you could just go to the gang's hideout and then it's gonna give you an option to just go in there and wipe them out but the only problem with that is the boss the um the current leader of their gang of each of those three gangs are basically gonna have like max um stats that means it's really gonna be hard if you try to take them on at um early in the game so you need to actually work up your way up there and that's how i'm going to be and that's how i'm going to be handling the um fourth one and then the last and final um part is going to be um the evil guy which is dr vandal's assistant which is going to be Dr. Vandal's um, assistant, which is a guy who we thought is dead, which isn't really dead. So he's going to have the last part. And that's how I'm going to be handling the three, um, the, the, um, the, all the uh, five parts that you have to find. Three is in random locations with, throughout the whole city. One is in one of the secret hideouts of the gangs. And the other one is at Dr. Vandal's um, assistant has it. So, now let's get started with the mapping, which is going to be um, Dr. Vendor's um, lab that we're going to be mapping in this episode. So, you could skip now if you want to, because it's just a typical mapping thing. And I'm going to be fast forwarding it, so yeah.